outside my laundry there, we've actually got a bifold door. So I'm just going to show you how quickly how I make one. It's just a representation. So in this case, I'm just using, I'll, I'll use an inch for each fold or thereabouts. I do have to mark this on both sides of the board because I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to put four folds here in this door. So I've marked one inch sections or 30 mil sections. I flip over, I'm going to mark the other side too. So what we're going to do, we're going to have one fold along this first inch. Now, the second inch is going to be folded on the other side, so I just flip the board around. I mark the other side. The next fold is going to be back on this side again, so I flip it back over again. And then this one here is actually going to be a cut. So I'll just cut that all the way through. I'm just going to make a little mark here so that I know that I've got to cut that one. Now I can do that with several different tools. I like to use the, uh, the straight cutter. And what I do in this case, because I don't want to cut all the way through the board, I'm going to change the size on the bottom here to actually less than the thickness of the board. So I'm going to wind it up. So we've come right up before the three. Now that will then restrict this depth. Now when I come along and cut that, I'm actually not going to cut all the way through the board. I'm just going to come in and cut to that depth. I take that second line that I was going to just score. I come along and I score that one. I flip it over. Score this central piece. And now I've got to come back and cut this one. And so now I need to adjust my depth again, back down to deeper than the 30 mil. So we're going to come down to just on 30 there. And then we're going to cut that off all the way. So I do it in a couple of passes. And so now, what I've done, I can fold that along the score line. And you can see it just folds nicely. I can fold that along that score line, and then I can fold this back this way. And now this will emulate the bifold door that I'm actually going to put into this design. Where that's going to go, it's going to sit here as a representation of the bifold door for uh, concealing the laundry, which you can see we've got in here. So that's quite easy again. You can use your double-sided tape. And I'm just going to cut little pieces because it's easy to work with some small pieces here. So I'm just going to cut a few little bits off. One, two, three and four. All my fingers are going to be used. So I've just got four little bits of tape. Each piece is going to go on a section of this bifold down the bottom there. We're able to peel those off, or if you don't have nails, you can always use the tip of your blade just to lift that off. Sometimes tweezers can help, but usually I find it's quicker just to use your fingers. But tweezers definitely help if you want to actually do things that are a lot finer. So now I can stick that in there. I might actually like to cut that down a little bit just so that it's not quite so high. So I'll just come back and trim the top off. So back to my straight cutter again. We'll just trim that top down. So this is now our bifold door. And I'm just going to put it in place on the plan. So now we've got a nice representation 
of the door that's going to close there and conceal the laundry. Now along here we're going to have another wall, but we have actually got sliding doors there. I won't be making the sliding doors, but we'll actually cut the section out so that we can see the sliding door, and we may use a little bit of mylar in there. We'll have a look at that in a moment. So what I've done, I've actually made this big long piece that is going to fold all the way around and become this entire section of the building. But I've got a few things that I'd like to add, and that is that right here where we're going to put the sliding doors in, what I'm going to do is just align my piece of foam core along the edge of the plan. And this is just nice and quick, because I'm going to mark here, this is one edge, this is the other edge of that sliding door. Down here we've actually got a window, so I'm going to mark here, and I'm just going to write on there, window, and I write on here, door and then I'm going to cut those sections out. I just wanted to show you the pitfalls of using a Stanley knife to cut your foam core. I tried cutting just a little bit before and it started to bunch up on me so I thought well I'll just show you this. If I start to cut on that board there you can feel the bumps. You can even hear them. I keep coming up. Now I'm going to have to come back and cut that again. Now this is a sharp knife too but along that edge can you see how the foam has all bunched up inside the board there? It's really ugly. When you compare that rough edge there to something that we've cut using our Foamworks tools, you can see the quality of cut, and that's why we use them. Here I'm going to cut the opening for the door. I can just see with the end of that knife where I want to pierce into the board, so I can just start right where I want. The angle's really nice just to puncture into the board and then you just look over and see where you finish. I don't mind cutting a little bit past here because I just want that piece to drop out for me. And now I'm going to cut this bottom section. And you can see there that piece just come straight out and there's the opening for my sliding door. I'm going to use some uh, laminating film that I just had left over after another job and I'm going to use this to simulate windows and doors so just using my scissors I'm roughly going to cut a piece of this off so it's easy to work with so I'm going to place that over here just to give a simulation of that doorway and I'm also going to place a little piece of it over this window so what I can do I can just quickly eyeball that and see that I can cut it down there with my scissors I'd like to neaten up the ends and I'm going to cut it here too It's then easy to put the double sided tape straight on, cut it, we do have a little machine that applies this tape but I really like using this hand applied tape because I can control exactly where it goes and it's handy to get it in this narrow 6mm size. We do keep uh, 6, 12 and 18mm wide double sided tapes but the most popular one for the foam core application 
is this narrow 6mm tape. Now I can put my door on there, put my plastic on there to represent the door. And that's going to give a simulation of a doorway or a window in the building. So now we've got our little windows in there. It's going to go here. But the designers actually asked me for something a little bit fun. Uh, they'd like me to simulate a window here, uh, a sort of uh, spherical kind of fisheye window. So what I was going to do is mark where they're going to have the window which is just up in here somewhere, so it's along this line. So I'm going to mark that. I'll use my square. And now let's measure where that window is going to be. So this will be the centre of our, of, our, of our round window. I'm going to show you how we cut that right now. This little tool here is a really neat little gadget. It has a threaded device, so we can wind it all the way up. We're going to take off the uh, cap that protects this blade and stops you from cutting yourself when you don't use it. Now if I wind that all the way up, so that that blade is above the level of the bottom of the cutter. So now it's quite easy for me to put this into position. And if you have a look down here on the front, I've actually got a little alignment tool. I've got the little squares, and so I'm going to extend my lines there just so that I can line them up with that tool. So if I extend this square line right out, and then what I'll do is I'll align this by using the edge of the wall there. So now I've made a big cross. I can line up these guides just with these lines here. So then I know I've got it centered. So you can see there we've got the little crosses in, in line. And now this is the cool part. This is really easy to use. You can either just push down. You can push that centre down to actually find the centre. And you wind, holding the tool firmly, just wind that drill. And what's happening, you're working through the foam, and I've cut my little circular hole that's going to be for that spherical window. To get the foam out of there, you can just push this. There's a little tool inside there that allows you to just pop that. Back out of there. And so there's our piece, perfectly cut.